This is Sylvester Stallone making it look extremely easy to pick up the goat in horse rugby. You'll notice it's a stuffed doll. It has no weight to it. This is Nick, and in this video we'll be discussing his wrist problems when he's trying to pick up a real headless goat, which is the ball used in horse rugby. It started when I was trying to pick up the goat. And <laughs> I love this. What? I love your goat stories, man. It's, it's bending down off the saddle to, to grab it. How do we mimic that in this office? Can you pick something up? Is there... <sighs> Let me get you something heavy. This is the best goat rip record I can do. Okay. So here, and if I was holding on the horn and there's a cat candle over here, you come down like this and usually try to grab it here and pull up. And then from that, we either, oh, I can't even do it. Okay. So That's you okay. either pull up here or you pull it in. It's that. And it's when I'm choking, going for chokes in the gi, same thing, but it's and this was a recent... You, you, it's been building up. It's been over the years and I just... Uh, it is like a significant amount of pain all of a sudden the last probably three or four days. Grab my hand. Arm straight. I'm elbow straight. I'm going to twist like that. You're going to stop me from doing that. Ready? Okay, go. Wow. Oh, okay, that's our test. Bend this arm. Go. So we can see on these two main tests there's weakness and that's because of the inflammation in that left wrist and hand. Most of his other muscles are going to test strong. I'm simply checking which muscles do or don't support his arm. And I wanna go around the whole range. Now his left latissimus dorsi, which did test strong previously, it's when I had less leverage. Here with a little more leverage, it's not testing properly. Supraspinatus muscles test fine. Good, try this, grab my hand. I'm gonna try to lift, do not lift. However, his subscapularis. But did that hurt? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it, I can do them, but it's just a matter of pain. You're not gonna like this, okay? I can already tell about doing this. Do I like this? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Come on, Eric. Tuckman. Nick recognizes that biting those sticks does decrease his pain. Oh, okay. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, that hurt. That was awesome. I appreciate your hyper masculinity. Grab my arm. Double straight. Actually, I'm going to do it this way first. Don't let me twist. Oh, that, 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 didn't, that Go. didn't hurt. Go. Good. Bend this. Don't let me twist. Still there on that. Here I want to reinsert the tongue depressors to see what happens to his strength with that left wrist and what happens to his pain level. How's that? Alright, let's go. Nick, open for me. Close. Open. Here I want to see his jaw on which side it's deviating to. His initial adjustment, it, his first visit ever was on the left. However, today's TMJ is deviating to the right. Don't wait, twist. Don't wait, twist. Don't need to oh, oh. What? How? I don't even know why that works. As long as I'm not confused, we are okay. As long as the shaman knows what's up, I'm good. Sometimes working on TMJ muscles is very painful in certain patients. Nick has a very high pain threshold, so he can tolerate this. With other patients, I need to tone it yeah. way down and go very slow. <sighs> Again. That's so cool. Goat. Okay, let's no. try the goat. Oh, shit. Let's try the goat again. That's my goat. How is that even possible? Kind of cool, huh? It's not kind of cool. It's really fun. Wow, yeah, not even a mat, it's like a, it was at an eight and now it's at a one. 
And that, right, that's incredible. Okay, good, good. Here I want to go back and recheck Nick's muscles to make certain that all his major muscle groups are working. Good. Push up. Was it that just pushing that side and not this side does that? Well, your jaw's deviating to the right. So a lot of times this will happen when people uh, arm straight, pull. What I notice is his left latissimus dorsi still not working. Yeah, I actually wonder if I should put this video on the internet. When I watch this scene, it reminds me more of a reservoir of dogs versus a chiropractor's office. Spit in, but it's authentic. <sighs> oh, shnikes. Once again, Nick is not a traditional patient. He has a high pain threshold. He's an extreme athlete. You like me when you get off the table, okay? <laughs> This is not how I treat the average patient. So if you've made it this far to this video, know that each patient is treated differently because they have different bodies and different systems and different levels of pain thresholds. So let's try this one more time. Yes, sir. Let me come in. Your go. Oh, yeah. Zero. Good? Yeah. Cool. From the top, like, turn your head right, push out. Good. Keep your head there, go. Head. So those were normal. This, however, is abnormal. He should have strength on that side and he should have weakness here and they're reversed. Yeah, so I'm gonna go look for something in his neck, some type of tonic neck reflex that is out. We're gonna look for here oh. at the C1 level on Nick. Nick, hang uh, left again for me. Yes, sir. Rechecking that left tonic neck reflex, these asymmetrical neck reflexes are now normal, and that's what I want. We're gonna give a small mobilization to C1, a little trigger point therapy. small little adjustment to it. All right, so I want you to go run and jump and bounce and do some burpees and stretch your body. Yes. Now, had we been in a normal office, he would have been done. But here I want him to go stress his system and I want to see what happens when he stresses his system to that wrist. Okay, find your back. <sighs> Did it come back? Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. <sighs> Yes, sir. Push up for me. So here we're seeing that his system's failing again. This is what he had when he first came into the office. Nothing worked after all that treatment. So something is still out inhibiting his system. And I want to find out what that is. I want it treated. Push up. Push up. This is one of the most uncomfortable adjustments that I perform, followed probably by the TL junction and the TMJ. Okay, how's the wrist? Let's go find out, go bounce. Better? Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing is your system's becoming really, I don't want to use the word frowned, it's becoming very sensitive so that when you're having a little area of dysfunction, it's causing massive problems in other places. 
So right now we just simply fixed your feet, right? Yeah. And you didn't do anything like. We just simply adjusted your fifth metatarsal on the right and your uh, ankle cup canis on the left. That's crazy. And that's having an impact on when feet are out, they shut off other muscles. So. Really? Oh yeah. Absolutely. I should know that. Stand for me. All right, one last time, go bounce. Let's double check. Let's triple check. Yes, sir. De-stressed chiropractic and Dr. Algy would like to publicly thank Wait. Nick for approving this video and his trust in our services. You make some of us males embarrassed to call ourselves men. Nick. This is, oh, <laughs> it feels so much better. Oh. <laughs> you can try it. Come on. Oh, it just feels so much better, Doc. Very good, Nick. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm here for you next time, okay? Yes, sir. Try not to injure yourself, please. No promises, but...